Hello friends, welcome back. In this tutorial, we will study about register transfer. Now, first of all, we must know what is a register. A register is a group of flip-flops. And a flip-flop is capable of storing one bit. So, n bit register is made up of n flip-flops. It is a group of n flip-flops. So, an uh, n bit register is capable of storing any information of n bits. Now, see this statement. This statement denotes the transfer of uh, content of register R2 into the register R1, right? And uh, the content of uh, register R2 will remain unchanged. After transferring the content of register R2 into R1, the content of R2 remains unchanged. The efficient way of transferring information between registers is common bus system, right? So for uh, transferring the content of register R2 into register R1 in a common bus system, what we will do, first of all, we will transfer the content of register R2 into bus and from bus, that content will be transferred into register R2. Right. Now, how to transfer data from register to bus? Now, how to transfer data from register to bus? One way to do this is constructing common bus with multiplexers. Like, it will be clear after this example. Suppose there are four registers and each is capable of storing four bits. Right? There are four registers and each one is of four bits. Register A, B, C and D. These are four registers. and. Uh, Bits of register A are denoted by A1, A2, A3 and A4. Bits of register B are denoted by B1, B2, B3 and B4. Bits of register C are denoted by C1, C2, C3 and C4. And bits of register D are denoted by D1, D2, D3 and D4. Right. So here common bus will have four lines. Okay, here common bus will have four lines, one for each bit of registers, right? Now, the bus consists of four multiplexers, and each multiplexer is of size four cross one, right? And each multiplexer is having data inputs zero, one, two, and three, right? And uh, all these four multiplexers have common selection lines S0 and S1, right? S0 and S1, these are the selection lines which are common to all these four multiplexers. In uh, this multiplexer, first multiplexer, first bit of all registers are applied as input, like A1, B1, C1, and D1, in this order. In second uh, multiplexer, all the second bits of all registers are applied as inputs, like A2, B2, C2, and D2 in this order, right? Similarly, in third multiplexer, all the third bits of the registers are applied as inputs in the order A3, B3, C3, and D3, right? Uh, similarly, in uh, this fourth multiplexer, all the fourth bits of uh, all these four registers are applied as input in the order A4, B4, C4, and D4, right? So, when the value of selection lines S0, S1, is 0, 0, right? Then, zero data input of all four multiplexers are selected and applied to the output. That forms the bus, right? So, in this case, bus line will receive the content of register a, right. So when the value of selection lines S0 and S1 is 0, 0, then uh, whatever the input in all four multiplexers at input 0 will be the output. So in this uh, multiplexer A1 will be the output, in this multiplexer A2 will be the output, in this multiplexer A3 will be the output, and in this multiplexer A4 will be the output. So in this way, content of register A will be applied on common bus right so common bus will receive the content of register a it is placed on the lines of common bus right similarly if s1 is 1 
and S0 is 0, right? If the value of selection lines is this, S0 is 0 and S1 is 1. Then in this case, the input 1 of all four multiplexer will be the output of all multiplexers. So output of this multiplexer will be B1, output of this multiplexer will be B2 and output of this uh, multiplexer will be B3 and output of this multiplexer will be B4. So in this way, uh, bus lines uh, will receive the content of register B. Right. Similarly, uh, content of register C and D can be placed on lines of common bus. Right by changing the values of selection lines right so in this way we can transfer the content of register in a bus now the question is how to transfer the information from bus to register to transfer information from a bus to register the bus lines are connected to the input of all registers and the register in which we have to transfer information from bus, its load control is activated. We had four registers of four bits. So we needed four multiplexers of size four cross one. Right. Now suppose if we have k registers of n bits, then in that case we need n n line common bus and n multiplexers each must be of size k cross 1 